I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a dog, but I still wanna party. Pink felt like I'm ready to bend. I'm a 10, so I pull in a can. Like, Jazzy, stay Red, but he spank me when I get bad. I'm in LA, but they'll drive. I'm in New York, Madison Ave. I'm my Barbie girl, pink Barbie dream house. Hey my loves, welcome back to the channel and today I'm here with Monica Fitz aka Mo and today we're going to be doing a leg workout. You guys love it when I bring you along when I work out with other people or influencers and that's what we're doing today. We are going to be doing a leg workout. First we're just taking pre-workout and warming up and yeah before we get started don't forget to like comment and subscribe and keep watching. Red, but he spank me when I get bad. I'm in LA, but they'll drive. I'm in New York, Madison Ave. I'm my Barbie girl, pink Barbie dream house. The way it can be killing shit, got me yelling out like the scream house. Y yelling out, we ain't selling out. We got money, but we ain't lending out. We got bars, but we ain't billing out. And that pink Ferrari, we pillin' out. So and of course, we are starting off with hip thrusts because hip thrusts are the best compound movement, in my opinion, for the glutes. Everybody does hip thrusts, obviously, for this specific reason. Is it really a good workout session if you don't do hip thrusts? No, it's not. So yeah, we started off with those and then we loaded up to four plates on each side. And yeah, our glutes were really pumped, juicy, and it was going, okay? So yeah. <laughs> Four hip thrusts in terms of sets and reps, we did about three or four sets and then we kept our rep ranges between 10 to 15. And don't forget guys when you're doing hip thrusts always drive with the heels always think about your muscle mind to muscle connection and make sure your hips come all the way level to your knees to make a full rep if you find that you can't make a full rep take up the weights and do it properly so you can get the most out of this exercise a lot of people ask me if i prefer cast or full rep range hip thrust and personally i like both i like to do my i would say when i'm on the three plates I like to do full rep ranges and then on my fourth plates last set i tend to do more casts so i like to do back and forth Chill, 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 drops like you 
Next, we had to do an RDL variation. So we started off with 25 pounds doing a B stance RDL. And these are great for your hamstrings and glutes. And I think we did 10 or I think we did seven to 10 reps on each side. And then on our last rep on our, and then on our last set, we did a full deadlift um, with 45 plates for the last set. Guys, we were super annoyed and kind of over it at the beginning because we came to this gym to be able to record and make content peacefully and mind our business. And prior to coming, Mo had asked them, hey, are we able to record? And they said, yes. The direct manager comes up and he says, hey, like you can't record on a tripod, but you can record propping your phone on a bench. But that doesn't make any sense. I just don't get what this whole stigma on tripods is. Tripods, I find if they're not in somebody's way and you're being respectful what is the difference between recording on a tripod versus recording on a bench if anything the bench being propped up would block somebody from going somewhere if that makes any sense i don't know comment down below what you guys think i just find that you know you know there are some gyms where recording is allowed and some aren't and for me i've been doing this for so long like i try my best to be super respectful people act like we want them in our videos but we don't nobody wants you your dusty self in your in our videos okay but I don't know it's just like there's this whole thing around recording and stuff like that yeah i just find that you know when you're respectful it's not in people's way and people aren't in the background like that then what is the difference it's one of those things where like other influencers who are full of themselves have ruined it for the other influencers who are more like genuine and just want to share content with other people like i said this is something i've been doing for so long and i love watching other people i've learned so much from my own fitness journey from watching other people and i find that people that act like they don't watch other people are so full of crap because especially the guys like come on guys i watch more guys than girls because i learned so much more in like physique i only watch female competitors at, as of right now but yeah it's just I feel like just other influencers just ruin it for other people and it just needs to be influencer gyms you know but all the best gyms that allow it are just outside of downtown Red, but he spank me when I get back. I'm in LA, Vontale Drive. I'm in New York, Madison Ave. I'm a Barbie girl. Pink Barbie dream house. The way it can be killing shit. I'm yelling out like the scream house. Yelling out. I went for my rent. We're doing Smith Machine lunges for the quads. The plate to elevate our heel to target our quads a bit more i love 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 this exercise for quads and then we did it as a squat with a 40 pound 45 plate
was like, bro, we've already come this far and I'm so all about being on my YouTube content this year. I was not missing not getting content. So we still sneakily propped up our shit and we held it, you know, we were just trying to find ways to get this content because we were not backing down from not getting a full content, you know what I mean? And it was third, yeah. <laughs> And then next we had back extensions you guys know i love this machine and i love to max out on the weights because it gets my glutes so much yeah i love these tips for these don't forget to point your toes outwards and be flexing those hamstrings and glutes and curving your back and yeah i love this exercise I turned to a attic, I brought me a paddock, I brought her a baby one. Yeah, I brought me a baby that came with two doors, yeah, that's the Mercedes one. Mm -hmm. I stay with the baddest, I'm counting the cabbage while making my lady come. Yes. I brought a G Wagon, that shit was a rabbit, that's why I be racing. Yes. Yeah, we brought the full door, had to get ready for four. Yeah, we and then lastly, we had calves. And yeah, that's it for this video, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Right after we went to go get gyros, I put her on because I love gyros so much. You get so much meat into them. And if you guys are in Toronto, or I'm not sure if anywhere else has them, but they're called Alexandros. I love them so much. But yeah, you get so much meat and they have the tzatziki. If any of my followers or subscribers are... Uh, Greek comment down below. Let me know and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video or vlog. Bye Like I'm living my life like I'm dead. Wake up and touch my bitch. I got on that tissue. I ain't had a change. I turned to a addict. I 
bought me a paddock, I bought her a baby one hawk. Yeah, I bought me a baby that came with the doors. Yeah, that's a Mercedes. I stay with the baddest and counting the cabbage while making my lady go fast. I brought a G wagon, I see with some rappers, that's why I be running the wagon. Yeah, we brought the four door, had to get ready for the walk. Yeah, I ain't fuck a bitch so long, I do it in a Honda Ghost. I had to count my money on the bottom wall. I just took that bitch and shot the behind me. So I had to get all my niggas up behind me. I had to